about to build the handyman up here in Northern California. Today I'm stripping out an old uh, Kenmore. This design is uh, actually probably still used. I think Maytag bought this design out. So basically what happened was it wasn't, it wasn't heating. It was taking too long to heat, basically. So we take this. This is where the lint screen goes down. The lint screen goes down in there on the top of the machine. And so this thing here, it's like almost halfway plugged up with lint right there. And so this, this actually probably happened because the lint screen was bad. It had a hole in it. Now here's the typical problem right here. This is what they call a bra stay. And these bra stays are in the bottom of the bra to sort of whatever, keep shape. And these kinds of things, these bras with these uh, pieces of metal in them should be washed separately. Because I've seen these uh, get plugged in washing machines and poke holes in the sides of the plastic uh, barrels. I've also seen these get stuck between the on some dryers, some commercial dryers, they'll get stuck between the barrel and the basket, or the, the drum and the basket, and then as the, the basket uh, moves around, this edge will scrape the side, and you hear this awful noise. It's the same thing with a washer. You could probably hear that same noise if you had that uh, get stuck in there, and that's a lot of sand is what that is. A lot of sand and lint. So that one's pretty well plugged up. Um, so yeah, I recommend you have your dryer checked out once a year. Make sure it's flowing properly. The main thing is that when you turn your dryer on, and you feel right here at the blower, you should feel like almost two, two hair dryers blowing full blast coming out at you. If not, you may have a plug somewhere. And it's the same thing at the end of your uh, vent tube. When your vent tube comes out, wherever it goes, out in the wall or whatever, you need, need to check that and make sure you got a good flow there. Other, otherwise, you'll have, you'll probably have a lint backup problem that would cause your dryer not to heat uh, very well. It would take a long time to dry your clothes. If you need any help and or if you have benefited from this video, please send me a donation or contact me, 707-445-1591. And, uh, or you can send me an email at applianceworks. Uh, excuse me, applianceworks at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.